What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna teach you how to use a loop to create an EDM build-up transition. To do this type of transition, you're gonna need two tracks. First is the track you want to transition from. For this tutorial, we're gonna use a remix of Fade by Kanye West. And two is a track with a nice and strong EDM buildup. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use Around We Play by Work Rex. Now, if you guys wanna practice this routine at home, don't worry, I got you. Both of these songs are available for download in the description link down below. So here are the steps in order to perform the buildup transition. First thing you want to do is to create a one bar loop on the first track. Ideally, we do this at a vocal section. There are two ways to create a one bar loop. On the controller, we can press in and out right away like this. Or we can just select a one bar loop on our computer like this. So once we have a loop going on, we then proceed to our next step. And the next step is to play our second track. Now we should play our second track during the build-up section of it. So in our case, that's here. And to make this transition sound clean, we should play the second track with the filter knob all the way to the left side and the volume all the way up. So let's do our second step starting from our first step. To make this type of transition easier for you guys, it helps to have sync and quantize on for both decks. Now the third step is to turn the filter knob of the second track all the way from the left side to the 12 o'clock position, as cleanly as we can as we progress with the song. And when we reach the build up drum section, that'll be time to shift our focus from the second track back to the first track. Let me show you. Now the fourth and final step is the most important step. As track 2's buildup goes on, we will be doing two things as we reach the drop. The first is that we will be turning the filter knob of track 1 from the 12 o'clock position to the 6 o'clock position. And the second thing is that we're going to make track 1's loop tighter and tighter to follow the buildup drum section of the second track. Now there are two ways to make the loop tight. On the controller, we can press the 1 half X beat button over here. And on the computer, we can press this loop control button over here. So when we hear the drum pattern go double time, we'll emulate that and make the loop tighter. And when we hear the drum section do triple time, we'll emulate that too and make the loop even tighter. And finally, when you reach the last few beats before the drop, crank it up and make the loop tighter and tighter and tighter. And when we finally reach the drop, you can do a multitude of different things, such as bring the volume down or a backspin. I usually do a backspin and filter combo to give this transition more oomph. So let's finally combine steps one to four.
And that's it. If you guys have any questions about this transition or suggestions for the next video, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one.